Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YV Plays Music. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to hold your guitar pick or plectrum. It's actually the same thing. But what is a plectrum exactly? Now most plectrums look pretty similar and have like a rounded triangle kind of shape. If we want to focus, yes, like this. They have some kind of rounded triangle shape with one corner sticking out on the bottom a little further. And that is the corner that will go over the strings. Now, how should we hold our plectrum to play our strings? Let me show you. I'm gonna come a little closer for that. So you can see my plectrum right here. You see my logo, of course. These are made especially for me. But anyways, if you have your plectrum like this, I would say if you divide it in three parts, a lower, middle and upper part, you should probably hold your thumb somewhere on the upper two thirds of your plectrum. Now I do think there are multiple ways on how to hold your plectrum, but in general this will work pretty good for a beginner either way. So hold your thumb on the upper two thirds of your guitar pick so the one corner still sticks out on the bottom and as you can see on my Plectrum, there are some white borders because I played quite a lot with these already. Now, we should hold them in between the thumb and the index finger. So we have our thumb in place. Now, how do we hold our index finger? I think you can actually choose that a little bit yourself. Uh, you can hold it just downwards, but you can, in my opinion, also hold it more bended, your index finger, and hold it like that. That's also fine. Whichever way fits you better or feels more comfortable, I think will work. As long as we have our guitar pick perpendicular to the line of my thumb here. Why is that? That's because of course the line of my strings will be pretty much the same as the line of my thumb. Like that. Now, also something else. It's also very important to know how hard you should hold your guitar pick. I'm gonna take my guitar for this one. It is pretty important to not squeeze too hard on your guitar pick. You should hold it pretty comfortably without really pressing. Now, don't hold it too loose so that you lose it while whilst playing. That's of course not what we want, but just hold it firmly there so it just stays in place. What my plectrums are really handy for, uh, I'm gonna show you. If I turn it, you can see there is some texture on the upper two thirds of my guitar pick. And that is pretty handy and helps not to slip out between my fingers. So yeah, that's handy. Not every plectrum has that and it's not really necessary. But if you use a plectrum a lot and you play a lot of guitar, after a while your hands might get sweaty, your fingers might get sweaty and then the chances of your plectrum slipping out are higher of course. So And that prevents it uh, a lot more. Let's say. But that's it. It's very important not to squeeze too tightly because what that is going to create on your guitar is a very harsh sound, not pretty to listen to. So I'm gonna squeeze it very hard like this, and now I'm gonna strum my guitar. It doesn't sound really beautiful, let's say. If you hold it a little less firmly and just let it go over the strings. it sounds much better, right? That is of course to play the chords. If you play separate strings, you can perhaps hold it a little more firmly so you have a little bit more control on where exactly and which strings exactly you want to uh, pluck. But aside of that, it's very important not to squeeze too hard on your plectrum. Then another thing is you have different thicknesses when it comes to these plectrums. Like most of them are pretty thin, of course. Uh, but you have really thin plectrums and you have really thick ones. The really thin ones are mostly used to play chords and in a soft way then. Like you have plectrums that you can pretty much bend into just pressing it down with your thumb and index finger. Mine is not that thin, but it's not that thick. There is a little bend in there. But let's say if you want to play a lot of uh, solos, improvisations and such, then it could be handy to have a little bit more thickness on your guitar pick because with those you can be more precise, let's say. Now like I said, mine isn't too thick so there is a little bit of bend there so I can use it to play chords pretty good but it's not too thin either so I can play some solo stuff as well. So I have a little bit of a middle ground, I can pretty much do both with this thickness, let's say. 
right? So that's basically it actually on how to hold your plectrum and to strum your guitars with your plectrum. Next week I'm going to show you how to add rhythm to strumming your chords because like I said in the last video, just strumming one time one chord doesn't make you able to play a song of course. You have to be able to give rhythm to that chord. For example, if you play just the E chord like this one time, it's not really that special. But if I add a little rhythm to that or then we can progress with other chords and we can add a vocal to that. We can add something different to that. So that's very important to be able to play songs or at least give some support if you'd like to sing together with playing the guitar. But that's something totally different of course and is not really suited yet for the type of videos that I'm doing right now. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. How to plow? I'm gonna go. So a little bit, a little more. But similarly, it's not only, it's not only important. It's not only important because what's that gonna? Because what that is going to? Because what's that? Because what that is going to create is a very harsh and not. Because what is now? Don't actively don't don't. But if you play, so. But that said, it's pretty. Um, if you hold it a little more, and just let it hold. That is, of course, to play uh, on where exactly and which. If you use, but if you want to, but if but let's say if you want to, because those. Um, now, like I said, mine isn't like I w uh, I can do pretty much. Uh, I can I can pretty do with this uh, uh, to be, or at least give some support if you is not really suited for. Uh. Also, don't forget I have. Also, don't forget I have reaction videos. I have music videos. Also, don't forget.